challenging par three seventh here. Got to hit a good shot onto the green. But there's a couple of things I want to work on in my technique. So let's have a go. I've got these aim sticks and I find them really helpful to use as checkpoints at certain places in the swing. Right now, I want to work on my right hip and making sure that I'm not swaying it out to the right. So I'm going to just take my setup like so and put this just outside my right heel, push it down into the ground, make sure it's pretty vertical there. And when I swing back, what I'm looking for is to make sure I don't bump into it and knock it. I just want to keep a little bit of distance between my right hip as I go back there. And you can see if I do that correctly, I'm not going to hit it with my right leg. It just turns inside of it and I've got stability. Now I want to sense what does that feel like to me. It makes me feel like my chest is over the ball. I'm turning around my right leg. I'm not moving over to it like so. And so I'm making a nice wind up and a nice coil and I'm right on top of the ball here. So it's a really simple way to be able to reference that I haven't moved my hip off to the right. So if anyone says you're swaying, grab one of these things, you'll figure it out. Now I'm going to take another stick and this time I'm going to use it a little differently. I'm actually going to set this one up just to the same side of me on the left side here. But this time I do want to have a little bit of movement. I want to make sure that when I get to the top of the swing and I can actually start my down swing here, that I just bump into the, there with my left hip. If I haven't done that, I haven't transferred my weight and I'm behind the ball and I'm going to pull it to the left, we'll create that slice swing and we don't want to do that. So as I get to the top of the back swing here, I'm just making sure I keep that right hip really stable. So it's taking a lot of core stability here to make the nice turn. And then as I start down, I've just bumped it there. I can feel my left hip touching the stick and then I turn through and that would be the, where I'd want to be at impact. Now obviously if I come crashing down into it too early and I bend the thing over, I've got too much slide. But we don't tend to see that too often. So it's back here, a little bit of movement in the transition, down and through. The other thing I like to do with these aim sticks is have them help me with my swing plane. So I'm just going to position this behind the ball at an angle which is very similar to the lie of my seven iron like so. I'm taking my setup and what I'm trying to do is reference that as I swing the club back here halfway, I'm matching that line. As I get to the top of the swing and I then start down, I want to be paralleling it again. So I'm using it as a reference. Now if my swing plane was too flat down here, it would be round this way. If my swing plane was too vertical, then obviously I'm not matching that up. So it's just a very simple way to use one of these aim sticks as a reference point. Swing back, parallel it, get to the top, come down, parallel it, and turn through. Same thing goes on the through swing too. I want that shaft to match that as I'm going through the ball. So you don't want to all of a sudden exit on a more vertical angle. You want to exit on the same angle as you go through. And finally, what I really like to do here, I want to hit a little bit of a draw. I'm just going to walk a couple of paces out in front of my ball, put this aim stick down on my target line. And my goal when I make this swing now is two things. One, I want to have a feel like I'm just going to bump into this left hip a little bit as I go through, so bump it there. And two, I want to make the ball just start slightly right of that. So I'll know if I'm on a good swing plane and good swing path as I come into the ball. So let me go ahead and hit one here. Take my setup. I'm aiming just on the right edge of that swing stick. I'm going to feel the bump coming down, swing path from the inside, start the ball slightly right of that target. And I was able to see the ball just start right of the stick in front of me. Just to recap, right hip on the back swing, you don't want to touch it want to be stable. Left hip on the through swing, you do want to have just a little bit of bump so you can just make sure that you move into it. I used it as a swing plane. I put it behind me and I made sure that my shaft matched that as I went back and as I came down. And then finally, I also set it up in front of me as an aiming post and I wanted the ball to start just to the right of it. Three or four different ideas that you can try with the aim sticks and I think it will help your game a great deal too.